Alright, good morning. It is raining. My dogs do not want to go outside. And uh, they still did not want me to leave. But unfortunately, not unfortunately, unfortunately for them, fortunately for me, it's gym time. It's darker than I expected, probably because of the rain cloud cover, so on and so forth. But who am I? I'm not a meteorologist. So let's stop talking about that. Uh, today is shoulders. Um, I don't even know what I have in store. Forget what was on the agenda. There's probably going to be some rear delta rows. Probably do rear delt flies. Uh, I've been doing some seated face pulls. I think I want to keep up because I kind of enjoy doing those. Uh, what else? There is, uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep doing traps. I'm okay with my traps right now. I've been incorporating a lot of the traps with, uh, into my back workout. And I think I may continue to do so. Save my shoulder days for strictly the delts. Really for focus, really focus. There we go. You know, speaking first thing in the morning, not great. Um, really focus on the rear delt and the medial delt. Uh, medial delt's more for the width of the upper body. Uh, rear delt is for the roundness of the delts. Uh, I feel I could be wrong that I'm lacking in that area. I haven't heard anybody contradict me on that, so I'm going to assume that I'm slightly lacking in that area. Uh, it is a pretty momentous day, you know, I don't even have 200 followers yet, I think I have about 175 followers in total, and uh, I already have two trolls, so, hey, <laughs> uh, I was going to let it bother me, but then I don't, because I want to use it for motivation, um, basically that I'm copying what other people are doing, and yes, I agree. Sam Sulik is one of the individuals that really helped me get focused on getting my ass back at the gym. Uh, I like the way that he does things when he drives around in his car, and sometimes he keeps driving around in his car where I get to where I'm going, and I usually stop and get out, but, you know. But, yeah, um, just like I watched uh, Simeon Panda, I watch Chris Bumstead, I watch... Uh, Mike Isretel, I watch a shit ton of different, um, watch a shit ton of different things on YouTube, I find ways to make myself better, when I first started doing this, I had no idea how to fucking post a video on YouTube, it literally took me three weeks to post the first video, just because I was trying to figure out, trying to figure out how to edit it, trying to how to figure out how I could do this on the go, and I do all this on my phone, uh, a little bit of help from the computer, but that's after the fact, and I'm still trying to figure out how I can do that. Thinking about getting a new camera so that I don't have to use my phone. But right now I'm doing this, and it's a learning curve for me. So yeah, I'm going to see what works. I'm going to use it to my advantage, and I'm going to keep moving forward. Uh, as I told everybody from day one, I do this for me. It's not for everybody else, so if you don't like it, you don't have to subscribe. I'll be okay with that. I really will. Um... But I did go back this morning and watch my very first video that I posted. The quality was not great. No microphone, no conversation, a small little box. And I should probably do something like that. Uh, do a side-by-side -side to show where I was to where I am. Uh, who knows? Maybe it'll work. Um, but uh, overall, for everybody that's been there, that's leaving the uh, positive comments, you know, chiming in, you know, even the banana comments, Ed. <laughs> Uh, I appreciate it. I thank you for those of you that are help supporting me on my journey. It's great. Today we're doing a weigh-in. We're doing a fat body, uh, uh, fat body, no, a body fat analysis. And uh, today is the last day of my bulk. Uh, it was a short bulk, about two months. But um, after doing some research, I see that because of the excess weight that I'm carrying around, the excess fat, I need to drop some weight to so I can, you know. Pretty much recharge the body to start growing muscle again so i'm going to go on a uh a cut it's going to be a pretty short cut because you know 
uh, about one to three ratio cut to bulk. So I'm going to do a, a six week cut and then go on a three month bulk and a two month cut. And that should take me right up to my September 19th. And we're going to see where we're at. So, um, I'm not at the gym yet. I had to make a quick stop at the restaurant to check on some stuff. Uh, and then I'll be hitting the gym. So I will see you in there in a very short period of time. All right. So Dana's back. He's not dead. Um, so we're just doing body fat composition. We did one of these about a month ago. Uh, 49 years old. 240 pounds. Male. And male. Yes, I had to make that specific for him because he hasn't figured this one out yet. So... And then this way? No, nope, this way. Uh, oh, hold on, let's do that again. That one didn't take? All right, so that's it. And then, so we got 25.5, which is up 1.8%. Uh, but I was eating a lot more, so kind of it'd be expected. Lean body mass, is, uh, uh, is that body mass, so if I weighed 178 pounds, I would have no body fat whatsoever. <laughs> Not going to shoot for that. All right, so, uh, so I'm going to get some warm-ups in, going to get going. And like I said, it's shorter day, so, and then I'm going to do a pose down at the end of the day today. So, see you in a little bit. Again, V-bar, close grip, press. This does hit the front shoulders, the posterior, no, anterior, anterior shoulders. See, learning, anterior deltoid, uh, front of the deltoid, which does get worked on your benches and everything like that. But I do one exercise of these just because uniformity. Give me a fuller, rounder look, too. I'm taking shots at the enemy. I'm gonna make it to the top, leave a legacy. If I got something to say, you better let me speak. Turn it up a new degree, bitch, you ain't seen anything. I pop off with the new rock, electronic, blow the sonic roof up. I'm too honest when I take a few shots. They're too toxic, need to take the new song. And you cannot save me, cause I don't need saving. It's everything I've been chasing, all here for the taking. Don't wanna test your luck with me, I think I've had enough disease. I'm sick of all the bad thoughts, people who are half guns You are not as tough as <laughs> So, rear delt flies. Pretty self explanatory. 45 degree angle. Doing the first shot from the back because I never do that. See what happens. But you want to pull and get that contraction. You're not coming up here. You're not pulling down here. You're not pulling down here. You're pulling at a 45 degree angle from your body. So you're basically making an inverted Y. I guess is best analysis. I'm about to go off like a weapon, fuel to the top, gotta fill the benches. In my thoughts, obsession, I will not stop, no, I'm never second guessing. I got a god complex. Haters love to hate, but I never feel pressed. Got a lot on my plate, but I never get stressed. I'll take all the pressure like I'm in this test. Oh, tear it up like I'm Jason. I see the world like it's ready for the taking. I see this place like a game I'm playing. Straight to the bank to collect my payments. No negotiations. It's my way. I was born impatient. Needed face pulls. Uh, I don't think you can see it. Maybe I'll show you, but I got a 45 pound plate that's braced between the uh cable machine in between my chair so that way i don't have to prop my leg up it doesn't mean i'm not going to 
but that way it won't automatically pull me into it. So all I got to do is focus on pulling the weight back to me, keeping my core engaged, keeping everything towards me. And I'll tell you if it works or if I still throw my fucking leg up there anyway, because that's what I want to do. I'm throwing my leg up there because I got to, it's not quite far enough away, but it still helps. <sighs> Screen. I won't let them fester me. I know most are festering. Negativity is a plague for the mentally weak. No mercy, all I got is working. Never stop searching, never quench the thirsty. I'm toxic and psychotic with this logic. You can't stop it. It's been chronic since I was a boy, so neurotic and chaotic. Go! Oh. I'm to last with the webs I'm weaving. I can change the past with all I'm achieving. Got my foot on gas, never stop. Go to the side lateral raises. I'm not going nearly as heavy as a weight as I usually do. Uh, focusing on that eccentric. Keeping the hands a little bit pointed downwards as opposed to sideways. I think it's day 26, 27, somewhere around there. 22 push-ups, raising awareness for veteran suicide. Every day, 22 veterans commit suicide. Um, 988 is the National Suicide and Crisis Hotline. Give them a call. Uh, if you're ever in need, uh, call the VA, whatever you got to do. But, you know, just talk to somebody and know that there are people out there for you. So today's 22. Oh, after a pretty intense shoulder workout. So I am hurting just a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty-one, twenty-two. Again, nine eight eight is the Hotline for suicide and crisis intervention. Be a friend, be a sh uh, shoulder to lean on. Thank you for your support. Like I said, we're going to do our pose down. Um, best lighting right here, I think. Oh, God, I'm sore. Oh, that belly ain't coming. Yes, sir, you're aware. So. <coughs> Obviously, there's not a lot more definition, but I do feel that I'm a little bit bigger than going into it about a month ago. Still got a long way to go. And back is definitely never one of my strong suits. Legs are looking good. Still like my cat, and it's always a good thing for me. And my sock's way too high up. So, overall, I'm not displeased. This part, I am. But again, I was on the bulk. So, the V taper's coming around pretty good. I want to see the chest development a little bit more. I think I still need more on the lower chest. Triceps are looking good. Biceps are looking good. Shoulders. Again, that rear delt is kind of slacking. 
Well, I'm getting a nice roundness here, which I'm happy with. So I'll be interested in six weeks. Do this again. Let's see what we've got. Kind comments only, please. All right. So just wanted to make sure everybody knows that I do actually do cardio. And it's something I just started. And I know I'm bouncing all over the fucking place, but I'm still walking. So we're coming up on the 30 minute mark. I just keep my pace about a three, 3.1. Gives me what I need. So for anybody who says, I'm not doing my cardio. Dana, here I am. So, <laughs> getting, it's getting harder and harder. Every day, leaving the gym. My legs still hurt from yesterday, plus the cardio today. Uh, my, sh my shoulders, my chest is still sore from two days ago. Two days ago. Yeah, two days ago. But I mean, it feels just simply amazing. Um... And yeah, I can already tell my shoulders are going to be hating me tomorrow. But I got a couple days rest before I start the new split, which is going to be uh, modified push pull legs, chest tries, back buys, shoulders, legs. Uh, I don't know exactly how I'm going to align those just yet. Uh, been calling around Ohio to see different gyms, get some day passes. Um, there's not a I, I guess there is a variety of gyms here in Vermont I'm just uh, just comfortable at Plumley, but uh, I'm going to try to go work out and snap with uh, with Owen there's a couple of gyms up in Burlington I would like to try out but it's hard to get up to Burlington in the morning so I'd have to do like a evening or afternoon workout for that so uh, yeah it's um it's about me getting out of my show, and I, I did the pose down today. I mean, not much of a pose down. I mean, again, I'm not very good at this stuff. Uh, I'm not training to be a professional bodybuilder, but you can see, you know, progress that I'm making. And I put on some weight. You know, I put on about 10 pounds since my last pose down, and I went up 1.8% uh, body fat. So I have to be mindful of that and make sure that uh, make sure that uh, I'm heading in the right direction. Which, like I said, just by the pose down, I see a little bit more mass than you know a month ago. So I'll be interested to see what happens in six weeks when I do my cut or after I'm finished with my cut. I'm contemplating, you know, wearing looser fitting clothes, so I can't really tell. Uh, I don't have, I have a mirror at my house, and that's in my bathroom, and I can only see my traps and upper chest, so, and then obviously I have the mirrors in the gym, but if I cover that up, I won't be able to see my progress, and I want to say, oh, I'm going to put on a pump cover. It's not about the pump cover, it's that... If you look at something every single day, you have no idea if small changes are, your, are being made on a daily basis. Uh, what I mean by that is that if I lose two and a half pounds, but I'm looking at myself every day, I may not see it. If I lose 20 pounds, I'm looking at myself every day, so... I'm getting used to the transition. I see the transition happening, but my mind isn't fully cognizant of it because it's a slow transition. Whereas if I haven't seen somebody in a couple weeks, they may come up to me and I'm like, oh, wow, it looks like you've lost some weight. So there's a difference there. So for me, psychologically, keeping everything covered and having it, you know, once a week, once every other week, or maybe just after... You know, seeing what I look like, seeing how well the cut is. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'll be like anxious. I'll be like, oh, you know, I'll still be weighing myself, making sure that I'm trending in the right direction. But, but yeah, so we'll uh, we'll figure all that out, and we'll have a lot of fun with it. And uh, starting Monday, I start my cut, mini cut, six weeks. My goal is about two and a half pounds per week. Uh, first week's going to probably be the toughest because we're going to be traveling. But 
I got some pre-planned meals that I want to take with me. I got a big cooler I'm throwing in the back. And I got a lot to pack. So I'll see you guys later.